Today, we're checking out the new Solana Saga mobile phone, which is one of the first Web3 focused mobile devices built on the Solana blockchain. Now, even though we are very much still in a crypto and NFT bear market, even if you're not a fan of Web3 NFTs or even any crypto in general, I think this phone is a very interesting play to see how blockchain tech can be built into mobile especially with Solana creating their own platform for devs called the Solana Mobile Stack. But first, before we get into it, let's unbox it and check it out. So here it is. Are you ready for the peel? Whoa! I almost dropped it. So we have the Solana logo. We also have a fingerprint sensor on the back. We have two cameras here on the rear and we have one camera here on the front. I like the little green buttons here. Actually, it's more like a teal color looks nice it's a great accent Let's see what else is in the box we've got a sim card ejector oh we have a seed freeze card very important this is our recovery sheet so before we get into what makes this phone different let's go over some of the normal things that we usually cover when we're reviewing phones it has a 50 megapixel made a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 16 megapixel selfie camera the display is a 16.67 full hd plus amoled with a peak refresh rate of 120 hertz it's got a rear fingerprint sensor, dual SIM, 12 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage. It's running a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor, and it has a 4,011 milliamp battery. And it looks like I have already smudged it up. So on first inspection, um, I've already fingerprinted it up, but I love the material. Like this feels like a premium phone, like just the weight of it in my hand. I sometimes don't really like light phones because I feel like I'm not holding anything. It's also not too slippery. Even like the new Samsung S23 and the iPhone feels so slippery like this. I mean, it'll definitely slip out of my hands, but it doesn't feel as slippery as some of the newer phones. I do also like that it has the fingerprint sensor here on the back. It's like a perfect placement for if you're trying to unlock your phone. Let's turn it on. Oh, look, the little Solana logo. This is exciting. Add our fingerprint. There we are. Fingerprint has been added. Seed vault. Secure seed storage at your fingertips. We're going to create a new seed. We can't let you see it. We're going to protect our seed with a passcode. Seed passcode. Let me go write this down. So I've written down my seed phrase. I've hit it away. Now I need to enable fingerprint access to the seed in my seed vault. So we're going to enable. And here we go. Okay. My seed has been created and secured. In order to use your seed, pair it with a wallet as well. Okay, all right. I use the Phantom Wallet. So the thing that I also like is this has a dApp store, which is an entire app store dedicated to decentralized apps. And since this still is early, there's not a lot. I'll have Solana page. Oh, yes. Claim our Saga and Jenna. Okay, Saga Genesis. Oh my goodness. All right. Can I? Okay. So many things are happening right now. I typed in my 24 word seed phrase again. Get started. So here's the D app store and it's asking to authenticate and we're in. So you see we've got, all right, this is a brand new account. I don't have any Solana or anything yet. All right, it's all set up. Definitely excited to test this out further. Now, one of the problems that I've run into, and if you are also into NFTs or crypto, is how difficult and not secure things are to transact on mobile. Now, most of the time you do need a desktop or you need to have a wallet app browser, and it's super frustrating to try to navigate. And it's also not entirely secure. Now, I mostly use a cold storage hardware wallet for a lot of my larger transactions, which adds another entire layer of complication to things, especially if I don't have my ledger with me. Now, what I do like about the saga is that they're introducing a seed vault, so your Solana private keys and seeds are stored securely protected by a dedicated hardware security module called a secure element. Now, when you're using any decentralized apps, their mobile wallet adapter can be used for signing transactions. Keys and seeds are only used to sign transactions, so your keys are never actually shared with Solana apps or Android to keep you safe. Now, I did show you guys the D app store where you'll have access to hopefully a growing number of decentralized apps in the future. As you can see right now, it's it's pretty slim. So now this is running on the Solana blockchain and I still feel like there's a lot of questions that a lot of people have if you're not familiar with this or you have been following it. So blockchain tech is a way of storing and transferring data that is secure, transparent, and decentralized. Now, because the blockchain creates a permanent record of transactions, they can't be deleted or altered. So this reduces the risk of fraud. 
Now, this isn't to say that there are a ton of NFT scams out there because there are tons of them. There's lots of crypto scams, but a lot of that does not have anything to do with the blockchain technology specifically. That's just because people are very crafty and know how to scam their way in and out of your wallets. I like this because you actually own your assets and you can transfer or sell them if you want. I kind of think of this when I was playing Animal Crossing, but my entire island that I've spent 1700 hours playing and building, if that was something that was on the blockchain, I would be able to easily transfer that entire island to someone else or all of those items that I have inside of my island I could actually be selling those to you or to whoever wants them and each one of those assets wouldn't just be something that I would have in the game it would be something that I physically well digitally owned and would be able to do whatever I wanted with them now if there was some other game that was on that particular blockchain that also decided to share those same assets I could then take those assets into I don't know for example, if it's Call of Duty, I could maybe take some of my wardrobe, the outfits that I had made or created in Animal Crossing or purchased, and I could wear them in Call of Duty. Like a lot of this, yes, it can be done using other tech, not on the blockchain. And it has been done, as we've all seen, in a way more centralized way. There's a lot of pros and cons to both, but we are getting so way off topic of the Solana phone that I don't even know where this video is going. So while I think that this is very interesting, and as a very long time holder of Solana, I really, really hope that it continues to prevail, and I hope that my bads will get pumped, because I had bought Solana super early when it was very, very low, but then I also bought it at an all-time high. So it definitely cuts pretty deep when I look at the current charts of where Solana is now. With the FTX crash, this ultimately hurt the entire financial industry in so many ways, especially Solana, since it was Alameda second largest holding. At this point, I am just going to continue to hold. So I'm going to be either going up with this ship or I'm going to be going down with it. I even originally had plans to launch my own project on Solana because the appeal originally was the low transaction fees and it being a much more environmentally chained than ETH 1.0 at the time. But then the entire crypto crash happens and then I ended up never doing anything with it. It's called JPEG. You guys can follow along if you want to. I have the Instagram JPEG farm and I also have the Twitter JPEG. I definitely do still have plans to launch it. I probably was working on it for about four months, just drawing and illustrating. So one of these days I do plan on launching JPEG. It's just a fun passion project. And I think it was one of those things that I wanted to learn how to make generative art. So I taught myself Procreate, figured out how to actually merge all of the layers and export those into a final project to be able to generate a 10,000 pig project where everyone is so different. So it was really fun. And the reason that I was so into Solana is like I said, there are low transaction fees. A lot of ethereum projects like you're paying so much in gas fees that you were just wasting money at the end of the day so even if you hate nfts or you hate crypto that's totally fine but i did just kind of want to show you this phone and just going to give you a first look at something different that's out there. So having a device like this that is Web3 and crypto focused, I think is really interesting. Now, is this a great time to be launching a crypto Solana phone? I, I don't know about that, but the fact that it is out and it is something that is here, I will be interested to see what developers are currently working on with this. So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a first look at the Solana phone. It will be out very shortly and this was announced well way before the crypto crash. So I do feel like had this been released a little bit earlier, I think that more people would have definitely been into it. So I'm very excited though, to see kind of what people think. Like, is this something that you would purchase? It is a pretty high price point. This is about a thousand dollar phone, but I do think that this is something that is kind of early. I don't think it's going to be widely adopted right now. We're still struggling to get people to set up any type of decentralized wallet. So the fact that there's a phone dedicated to that, I mean, that's going to be a whole other step. We're not ready for this. I mean, I'm ready for it. I don't think the general public is ready for it, but I would love to hear what you guys think. So feel free to leave me some comments below and let me know what you think of the Solana saga or even a crypto web three phone in general. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave me some questions in the comments or feel free to send me some tweets on Twitter and I will try to answer them for you.